everybody! Today, let's make some delicious side dish with seafood. It's Polak, this guy's. Two large Polak, one and a half pounds. You can get this at a Korean store, frozen section. Semi-dried Polak. In Korean, we call this Kodari. I'm going to braise these two guys today with a Korean seasoning sauce and really make some salty, delicious, savory side dish. And go well with rice. This side dish is called Kodari Jorim. I can make so many different kinds of dishes with Polak. When it's fresh or dried, just this is semi-dried. Semi-dried means that after they catch, fishermen catch, and then they dry in a sunny, breezy place. And then it's going a little semi-dried. The texture of the flesh is a little firmer and more chewier and really tasty. So when you braise this Kodari, the semi-dried polar, you need to know how to handle this. Otherwise, it may turn really fishy or sometimes bitter. We need to learn how to clean very nicely. Whenever I handle my fish, I always put this in. I need some uh, newspaper. On the newspaper, I'm just working together. And then later, all this thing, some dirty stuff, is just I wrap it up and then throw away. Let's open it. So first, let's just remove all fins here from this guy. And this tail. Okay, and then this guy too. So nice. And next, inside, we gotta check out that in a gill. You guys know that gill, through gill, they breathing. So that always some dirty stuff is stuck in there. So we need to remove the gill. It looks like really smooth, but still it has a little tiny scale. So I like to remove. Much, much getting clean if you do this. You see? Like this. Tip of this head part, I always cut it off. You see? This gill is connected. You can remove this way. See? So grab this, pull it out. But inside, I like to remove all this stuff. I'll use my spoon. Here. Yeah. I'll just cut it in half. You see that this black kind of some film. You should remove this. This is a bitter also. So here, the last black stuff, like a thin paper. Very nice. So this fish, pretty clean now. <laughs> I still need to wash. In Korean cooking, when you cook fish, we always eat also fish head. Fish head has a lot of, lot of stuff, delicious stuff. Around here, there is some nice, delicious meat here. Especially the part that connected to gills, that part, meat is very tasty. So my next one, same. You will see really tiny scale you will find. You see? Still here some leftover gill. Black kind of a paper, thin paper. One of my friends asked me a long time ago, 
Oh, whenever I made this, you know, kodari jorim, why it turns always a little bitter? So I gave her tips, these tips. Did you, you gotta remove inside of a black kind of paper. What was it? I never removed that part. So this is a very good tip. Cut it off around two and a half inch. Let's wash everything. And this is we throw away. Throw away, easy. We are going to use the cutting board again. Pollock is well handled. Can you do that? Easy, isn't it? So really, this is like only $5.99 kind of cheap, but you can make that for four servings, you know, all for your family. Really tasty side dish you can make at home. I will just use this pan and vegetables that I'm going to use, radish or daikon. This is daikon and then onion and green onion, and red chili pepper, and then also garlic, garlic unskippable. <laughs> and then one by one, when I prepare, I will just add. So first, let's cut it up, this radish. This is daikon, I use daikon, but you guys can use Korean radish too. I just washed already and dried. You can use a peeler, but this is a kind of, you know, some nice shape peeler, I use this. When it's cooked, I love this radish taste. Very soft and sweet. You guys are interested in what it is? I got this when I traveled to France, Nice. At the time, I need to buy some pillar uh, because my pillar was broken. And this one I found. So when I came home and I used this really beautiful pattern, I couldn't believe. I was so excited about this. I had never seen this such a thing before. But when I came to New York, and then I went to a kitchenware store later. I found out this kind of stuff already existing. <laughs> this is about eight ounce. Eight ounce. Cut just around a quarter inch. Let's put here. On the bottom of a pan, radish. Nice, beautiful. Next, onion. Onion around five ounce we need. So I'm going to slice this and put it over here. This amount is around five ounces. Spread this evenly. It's going to make a little sweet. Pola! So next, I'll make some seasoning sauce. Three garlic cloves. When I make this, I usually don't use a lot of hot pepper flakes, only one tablespoon hot pepper flakes for this. And I use soy sauce. Let's add the garlic here. I'm going to add soon hot pepper flakes and soy sauce but I like to cut, up, cut it up all everything. This is green onion, large green onion, tepa. And red chili pepper. You can use either green chili pepper or red chili pepper. So this is for garnish later. All cutting is done. And I will use later. And then, Let's make this seasoning sauce with garlic. 
half pepper flakes, one tablespoon. This is a dark soy sauce, three tablespoons. Jinganjang. I'm using rice syrup, but if this is not available, use sugar, sugar or honey. I'm going to use one tablespoon. Very simple. Drizzle here. We need to add water, one cup cold water, so that we can use every drop of seasoning sauce. And put this in the edge, like this. And cover, let's cook. 20 minutes of a medium heat. Let's open. So radish is like this. So we need to cook longer. Because from radish, all delicious stuff comes out. And also onion. And you see the lot of you know, broth, bottom? Just layer this. And pour over this. And then let's add some green onion. This green onion should be well mixed with this broth. And red pepper also. Red pepper's flavor should be absorbed. Okay. And cover again and turn down the heat to low. So that all this delicious stuff from the broth is going into fish. So fish is tasty, also radish is tasty. Radish is cooked very nicely and it's very soft and sweet. That's my favorite part. We used all this green onion, but this is for garnish. So 10 minutes passed. Wow, really delicious smell. I'm going to turn up the heat to a high heat. Okay. So put some broth here and put it over the top. The radish is very soft. So until this all broth is uh, almost gone, I'm going to keep doing this. About one or two minutes. Okay, done. Let's turn off. You can put this pan on the table, right, directly. And then with some more, few more side dishes, and of course rice, it's going to be a really delicious meal. But also, you can put this in a plate. This is freshly made kimchi. It's going to be my lunch today. Sesame seeds and my rice. When you share this pollock, always prepare individual small plate so that you can take some here. So even fish, one chunk of fish here, and then you can eat it. While you are eating, still there is a bone, so we need to remove the bones so that you need something like this, like a plate. And also this is for everybody for bone collecting. So all fish bones should go here. I'm going to show you how I feel like this. All of my Western friends who are not familiar with this Asian fish dish, and they were so freaked out. What? How can I eat these bones, the bones together? But uh, Koreans and also Asian cultures, so we need to cook with the bones. Because from the bones, it's a 
delicious stuff is, comes out. But when you eat it, you can easily remove the fish bone, just like me. Radish, the spoon, with the spoon, easily come up, you see? And here too, this fish bone, so let's put it here. A nice chunk of delicious fish. Mm. Mm. Really delicious. Polak fish, the kind of flavor. I love that kind of special, kind of unique flavor. And also, texture is very flaky. Awesome. I like it more. Mm. I made this kimchi yesterday. I'll show you head. The head. Head usually like this. The, that part, you know, the connect you to gill. Really, this part is very delicious part. This part. Tiny rib I'm eating. Like this. Mm. Little messy, but delicious. That's the way that, you know, usually we, we make the lot of, you know, stuff. All of my siblings eat together this. We use a hand, you know, fingers. And then after eating, even we lick our fingers. Nobody say that disgusting, you know, really tasty. And also this part, you see, I'm going to show you the more meat here. Flip over. And this part, it has a lot of meat. So here. What a flaky fish. Here too. Never throw away the head. Small head has a lot of meat between the, all these bones. So tasty. And also with the family members using your fingers. But if you feed your small baby, you need to really carefully look, you know. The small fish bones are all removed. This. this way we enjoy the braised polak. Also, radish is so tasty. Today we made braised polak with radish. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.